and welcome to CJ Plus on CNN News 18. Yes, it's a brand new look and feel at the core, the same passion to put your issues first. The ever-changing city skyline, the aspirational middle class and of course, the ultimate dream of owning a home. But what if that dream is cut short by the very builder who promised it? What if your life savings goes into a project that looks nothing like what was guaranteed to you? Well, that is the unfortunate reality for hundreds and thousands of home buyers in the national capital region. But today they have decided to speak out. This is the Buyers vs Builders special on CJ+. I am citizen journalist Manir Jhari. I am a buyer in Unitech Vistas project. My flat is in a tower which cannot be found on a ground or on an approved layout plan of the project. I booked a flat in the Ira Landmark Limited in 2011. Till now, there is no construction at all. They kept sending the demand letters and I kept paying. Till now, I have paid 35 lakh some rupees to them. First on the show today, we're getting you the story of two citizen journalists. But really, it's the battle for hundreds of home buyers who've invested in Unitech Vista's project in Sector 70, Gurgaon. Manit Johari and Vikas Kaul are now exposing how the builder sold flats that don't even exist on the builder's approved plan. And also, how hundreds of families, after paying up lakhs of rupees, still waiting for their dream home. Akansha Pradeep is helping both these citizen journalists in filing our top CJ report. कुल भी फ्लैट मिल नहीं रहा टाइम से काफी ज्यादा डिले हो गया और पेमेंट इनको ऑलरेडी जा चुकी है जो होनी चाहिए थी एंड वी आर ऑन द रोड्स वी हैव मेड फुल पेमेंट फॉर आवर फ्लैट इन ए ब्लॉक येट नथिंग हैज बीन रिसीव्ड नो आउटलुक देयर इज ब्लेटेंट लाई वी आर रनिंग फ्रॉम पिलर टू पोस्ट 25000 रुपए का रेंट दे रहे हैं ईएमआई पर ईएमआई इंटरेस्ट की 15000 रुपए पर मंथ जा रही है मुझे अपने खर्चे मीट करने के लिए लोगों से भीख मांगनी पड़ रही है hundreds of home buyers wait for their dream home Two citizens decided to speak out against one builder, one fighting for a never-ending wait for possession and the other for a home that doesn't exist on the builder's plan. I am citizen journalist Manir Jhari. I am a buyer in Unitech Vistas project. My flat is in a tower which cannot be found on a ground or on an approved layout plan of the project. In 2010, January, Unitech launched a project called Vistas Phase 2. This is the brochure they gave to all the customers in which all the details of the project is mentioned. If you look at the map, there are about 14 buildings. And I booked in D1 Tower, an apartment which is 1,890 square feet of area and it costed about 90 lakhs that time. And then from 2010 to 2011, Unitech asked us various installments. By 2011 end, we had paid for start of construction, which is about 35% of the total cost of the flat. From 2011, we followed up with Unitech through site visit, through corporate visit, through various letters. And we always used to get uh, assurance from them that the work is going to start from next quarter. In 2014, uh, we came to know that Unitech might not have permissions to build uh, phase two. Just to cross-check the facts, I decided to file an RTI with the Huda, and uh, we came to know that uh, the revised plan on which Unitech had made its brochures and sold us the apartments uh, is not approved. This means that the original plan is completely different from the revised plan which Unitech had sold to us. Uh, Unitech had taken permission from Huda is for six towers. This is uh, C block which has two towers. This is D block with two towers. And this is E block with two towers. And what uh, Unitech sold us was something like this. This has about total C, D and E has 14 towers. So the biggest question is how could Unitech sell us the flats which they had never taken permission for. Feeling cheated from RTI reply, we decided to file a case against Unitech. In December 2014 itself, we filed a case against Unitech in NCRDC courts. Within one year, we received a judgment in our favor and uh, which says that uh, Unitech will have to 
pay us 12% interest from the date of booking and uh, Unitech will have to give a possession of the flats as per the schedule which Unitech had agreed to. But Unitech decided to take a stay order and now the case is pending at Supreme Court and uh, the next uh, hearing is in August this year. When we went in January of 2016 to the site, we realized not a single brick has been laid and we were unofficially told that Unitech doesn't have funds to take permission or to start constructions. While buyers like me are in a dilemma over the very existence of our flat, other buyers like Vikas, whose stars are approved, are waiting endlessly for their flats. Hi, my name is Vikas Kaul and I've turned citizen journalist today to tell you how we buyers have been cheated by the builder in the name of giving us our dream homes. In 2009, I purchased a 3 BHK flat in Vistas project by Unitech Builders in Sector 70 of Gurgaon. My flat was in Tower A4 of Phase 1. As per the builder-buyer agreement, I was to get the flat in 36 months, which was January of 2013, which clearly did not happen. For the first two years, all was fine and the construction work was in full swing. Within the first three months of booking the flat, I had made 95% of the payment. Since I was out of town and I came back in 2013, I was shocked. The project that was to be handed over to us then was far from being complete. Tired of endlessly running around, we approached the consumer court last year, post which we received a reschedule from the builder, as per which I'm supposed to get my flat next month. But looking at the current status, this looks completely impossible. Meanwhile, the consumer court ruled in our favor in Feb of 2016. As per the verdict, it gives two options. Either wait for the apartment and take a penalty of 12% or get a refund at 18%. Most of us chose the letter. But not sure of how long these legal proceedings will take, we the buyers have also now approached the economic offense wing to file a complaint against Unitech so that we can get some respite. But we'll continue to fight till we get justice. This is Vikas Call, Citizen Journalist, CNN News 18. CJ Plus team contacted Unitech through several phone calls and emails. Unitech refused to comment on this issue, saying that the matter is subjudice. The builder characteristically choosing to remain silent, but this time the buyers won't. Our next citizen journalist is Raj Gaur. He invested in a property with ERA landmark. Now, five years and 35 lakh rupees later, not a brick has been laid in his project. The very intent of the builder came into question when it was later revealed that they didn't even have the requisite permissions from the District Town Planning Commission. Citizens like Raj had no option but to file an FIR against the builder. It has thus become a long-drawn battle for their own life savings, even as they know that the dream of owning a home is as good as gone. Mehek Zubair is helping Raj turn a citizen journalist. I'm Raj Gaur. I have become a citizen journalist today for CJ+. I booked a flat in the ERA Landmark Limited in 2011. It was September 2011 when I paid 5,50,000 check to the ERA. My agent shows me very rosy pictures and said that this, this project is going to be completed within three years, say 14 or maximum 2015. Till now, there is no construction at all. They kept demanding, they kept sending the demand letters and I kept paying. Till now, I have paid 35 lakh some rupees to them. This is what the construction site looks like today. These pictures that I clicked on the morning of 21st April 2016, five years after I booked my flat, will help you understand the gravity of the situation. But the delay was not the worst that was in store. On 31st March 2015, the District Town Planning Commission filed an FIR and the case was taken to the High Court. The builder, ERA Landmark Limited, or what is now known as Aral Landmark Limited, had started selling off the flats even before they got the permission from the District Town Planning Commission. They got the permission in 2012, which is 
completely illegal according to the law of district town planning commission chairman hs bharana has been arrested under that case worried for our investment some of his buyers decided to confront the senior management but there were no answers instead we were intimidated which is when i decided to file an fir when i went to the gurgaon police i saw many people standing there with the same problem as i was then we made a complaint to the police commissioner which has been converted later into the fir there are more than 50 60 fir and the complainant are thousands the law is now taking its course the chairman was once again arrested the session court denied the bail even session court has mentioned in their denying order that this case seems to be like sahara group and denied their bail then he went to the high court chandigarh i am 67 year old now and my health is not that good because i had in 2012 i had two stents inserted in my heart the case is going on in chandigarh i have to run all the time to chandigarh throughout life i've been struggling and my all money is gone with them now they are enjoying and i am running pillar to post to recover my own money like a beggar i want to immediate action and my money to be refunded by the hira landmark company with interest citizen journalists for cj plus and cnn news at CJ Plus team tried contacting Era Landmark or Adele as it's now being called. Our requests for emails, phone calls, on-camera reactions all went unanswered. Clearly, the builder doesn't want to take any onus of the sufferings of hundreds of home buyers. But can this change? Can the onus be put on the builder? The recently passed Real Estate Regulation and Development Act could be the answer now when this act becomes the law that's when every state ratifies it it will ensure some basic things number 1 at least 70% of the project funds will be kept in a separate bank account to be used by the builder for finishing up the project and the construction work now what this is going to ensure is that the builder doesn't invest this money in buying numerous other new projects from the money that it has got from the bookings of this one project number 2 if there's any delay in possession the builder will have to give the same interest as the EMI that's being paid by the consumer and number 3 the builder will not be allowed to make any changes to the plan without a written consent of the buyer yes all of these interesting information we are putting out on our facebook page you can also get to know more about the real estate regulation and development bill from the videos that we are putting out with that we are slipping into a very short break much more on the other side you're watching CJ Plus buyers versus builder special where you the home buyer tired of the empty promises of the builder is speaking out now this debate was sparked off last week when a group of citizens started a social media campaign the residents of amrapali safaya put the owners on the brand ambassador ms zoni cnn news 18 covered that story in a cascade of tweets and media pressure later zoni stepped down as the brand ambassador but really was that the answer that the residents were looking for Sunita Sharma now is turning a citizen journalist she is a resident of Amrapali Safaya Ranjan Sharma is helping her file this report My name is Sunita I have, I live in Amrapali and today I have converted myself into a citizen journalist I'm going to talk about that how our demands have not met and we chosen social media as an hour to raise our concerns here today Amrapali hai hai Amrapali hai hai We got lured by Amrapali's big hoardings, big promises, big names. But what we got in turn is an unfinished project which looks far from our dream home. There should be water in these pipes. There is no water running in these pipes. There is no hose pipe here. 
And this cold lift is open and they have not even bothered to cover the pit of the lift. Any kid, any, because there is no light, anybody can go and fall. A kid running here, he can anytime come and touch. These are fully charged panels. We try to contact management, Noida authority, builders, and so far nothing has been happened. This is when we, the residents of Amrapali Society of Noida Sector 45, started a hashtag Amrapali Misuse Dhoni over pending work as our demands were not addressed by the management. He's a big brand, so he has to take responsibility for this. CNN News 18 covered our story and soon after MS Dhoni resigned as the brand ambassador of Amrapali. But we feel that's not enough. Dhoni should not quit the project. He should rather take the responsibility to get it complete and stand with us. After watching CNN News 18 report, Noida authority finally intervened and they have framed an authority who will be overlooking the project and they will be coming out with the weekly report. Finally, we all Sapphirians are hopeful for positive outcome. This is Sunita Sharma, citizen journalist, CNN News 18. The lack of a governing body up until now has meant for many delay in possession, poor construction material and additional charges. Punish Kapoor is our next citizen journalist. He booked a flat with Supertech in Greater Noida in the year 2010. It's 2016, but he's still waiting to call it his home. Mehek Zubair is helping Punish in the Citizen Journalist Report. Hi, my name is Punish Kapoor and I have become the CJ for CJ Plus today. I'm standing in front of the first Eco Village One Supertech uh, project, and you can see uh, I booked a project uh, flat within this for within 2010, and uh, I haven't got the possession though because they promised me to get the uh, flat by 2013. Now thereafter, they didn't uh, fill up the promises, and I was uh, given another allotment letter to get the allotment letter by uh, flat by 2015 again, and which didn't happen and uh, we are still waiting endless for this particular flat. Now, the only concern is because uh, you can see the project is still under construction. There have been false promises being made by the builder that this, you will be getting uh, this flat within the next month or so. I don't think that this is going to happen within this year itself. Everyone has a dream and I had a dream as well. I booked my whole house within 2010 and you know, I have paid 95% of the whole amount. I have paid, I've taken a loan from the bank. I'm living on a rent. I'm making up two different expenses. So my expenses have doubled. I'm still not sure when I'm going to get my home house. Since I haven't got the possession yet, but few of the people have got the have started getting the letters, and they have, builder has asked for some rough charges. They have been huge. That comes up a huge amount. Now those rough charges includes farmer agitation charges, uh, uh, labor welfare charges. Then we have they have violated the FAR, which is a floor area ratio, and then again they have come up with some uh, difference in the area which was not originally given in the allotment letter. Now that difference amount has to be paid by the time of possession and the total becomes a huge amount and, and I'm not sure why this builder has done so without taking the consent of the general buyer. There's a hell lot of difference between the original layout as we were, uh, I, mean, I mean, shown in the time of booking. Uh, but by, at, the, at the place where there, were, there was a park which was planned, they have raised a building and the total area has come up less. Now the breathing space between two towers have come less and, and this we feel cheated by the builder. If the layout has changed, something has really been done by the authority, there should be a legal action which needs to be taken against the builder. I have tried contacting the customer care of Supertex several times and they don't pick up the phone even. I have tried contacting them and I have personally visited the Supertech office at uh, Sector 58 branch and then I have spoken to the MDs. Although they have made promises, but in despite of all these promises, they haven't fulfilled anything. As a genuine buyer, I have waited for six years for my own dream house and I want these problems to be sorted ASAP. Uh, I mean, I want a quick action to be taken against the builder just to ensure that I start living in my own house. That's all the 
we could pack in for you on this edition of CJ Plus. But remember, this conversation is going to continue on digital space. We're looking for a 360 degree view of this issue. You can find us on Twitter now as News 18 CJ. You can also write to us on Facebook. We're also on WhatsApp. So do send us your videos and pictures from the entire team then. Goodbye, take care and we'll see you again next week. Thank <laughs> you.